Good news and bad news for the SMP. Well, the good news is that they have finally found an accounting firm to do their audits. Well, the bad news is that there are already some issues with this company. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel that challenges the mainstream media and the political establishment from the left wing nutters to the globalist elite. Today's breaking news is about what we heard earlier, which was uh, the SMP. They finally found some accountants to do their audits within the next few weeks to sign them off and get paid. Is it going to happen? Well, maybe. But the breaking news is that we've done some digging and we discovered some weird stuff about this uh, firm, the accountants. Okay, first things first, who are these people? We already know that uh, the SMP have had, had so many issues recently. Everybody's resigning left, right and centre. Everybody's getting arrested left, right and centre. And they only have a few weeks left until um, they file their new accounts for the, for, for the past year. Otherwise, they will lose the taxpayer funded money and the budget uh, for the Westminster group, for the um, MPs in Parliament and their staff. OK, so. Let's talk about this uh, accounting firm, AMS, the accounting group uh, that are now going to be responsible for the audits of the SMP. So good news for Scott Nats. They, they just should probably take a break and celebrate. But <laughs> considering how technically nationalist the SMP are, and they always say Scottish jobs for Scottish people and don't do anything with the English and everything else, well... It's not really the biggest part of it, but we've done some digging. Firstly, uh, the AMS Accountants Group is uh, from England. They are based in Manchester, so brilliant. Um, but that's not the biggest issue. <laughs> Considering these guys are so, supposed to be responsible for last-minute submission of their accounting statements uh, uh, for uh, the SNP as a party, uh, they actually are not really good at uh, essentially focusing on their own accounts. On the company's house uh, website, you can actually see that uh, their own statements were overdue. And earlier today, they, they realized that, that this, they're going to be scrutinized in the media. So they decided to file them last minute. So if an accounting firm with full of professional accountants can't even submit their accounts in time, <laughs> what do we, what should we expect them to do for their clients? Now, that's one issue, which is absolutely hilarious. Now they have filed their accounts now, slightly delayed, but they've done it. But there are other issues in this area. So again, the two main people, uh, directors of this firm on Companies House, and one of them is Ibrahim Adam, uh, Adam Sidat, and the other one is David Luke Clegg. Okay, Clegg, remember the surname. Okay, let's go firstly to... Um, Humza Yusuf and his uh, response to this news. And we're going to talk about Mr. Clegg in a second. Okay. Firstly, Humza Yusuf is very happy. He came out to say that I am pleased to confirm that we have secured the services of auditors to take forward our accounts. We take our uh, statutory obligations extremely seriously. So it is welcome news that uh, AMS accounts Accountants Group will complete the accounts for both the party and the SNP group. Uh, there is hard work ahead, but uh, it really uh, is it is really encouraging to have them on board as we work towards challenging deadlines. I am very grateful for the work of our new party treasurer, Stuart MacDonald, in securing their auditor's services. I also wish to thank our previous auditors, Johnson Carmichael for their professional work over the many years. Mm, okay. Now, also the SNP treasurer said that this announcement represents a significant step forward of the party's stewardship under the leadership of Humza Yusuf. Oh my God. Just, do you guys want to get a room? Humza says we should praise Stuart. Stuart says we should praise Humza. So one of you guys is responsible for this. Just take the credit and go away. Now, the issue with this is... Uh, <laughs> This firm is also very political. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. But uh, we're not really sure if they're going to be uh, creating some sort of stories for us uh, within the next few weeks. So uh, we discovered that Clegg, Mr. Clegg, who is one of the directors, 
When you think of the surname, you always remember there was also an MP called Nick Clegg. Now, Nick Clegg was an MP for Sheffield, the leader of the Liberal Democrats. When we did some digging, we discovered that uh, uh, one of part of the donations, political donations that he received, uh, one of them, the name of the donor was AMS Accountants. Okay, so they are based in Manchester. Amount of donation was uh, five thousand pounds, and a bit more um, after that. But okay, so there might be some sort of relation between the two Cleggs. But these guys are also okay. You remember Chuka Umuna, the Labour MP, um, who was a <laughs> Tax avoider, apparently. Well, no, actually, well, he, he was trying to um, fight against tax avoidance. That, that was the official line. Um, he was uh, questioned by Guido Fawkes, who revealed that Chuko Muna had received a £2,500 donation on behalf of his party from Signature Tax Advisors, a boutique tax advice company. Signature is run by Ibrahim Sidat, who is also a director of AMS Accounting, based in the same building. And while his... <laughs> He's <laughs> taken a shine to Chukumuna. His business has also supported the Deputy Prime Minister, Nick Clegg. So, maybe this is not going to be the best news for Humza Youssef and the SMP. I'm not really sure exactly what's going to happen with this. <laughs> but I'm more concerned about the fact that these accountants can't even submit their own accounts in time. Um, the rest of it is not really illegal. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's, it's just good to do some digging. It's good to do some research to find out more about the establishment uh, in case something comes up about uh, the relationship with Nick Clegg or Chukka, I don't know. Um, but so far, the main point of this uh, issue is uh, the fact that these accountants are not really the best, most competent accountants, let's just say. All right, we're going to come back to you guys uh, throughout the day, every half an hour on my TC, and we are the media.